All right, g'day guys, my name's Ben. I'm gonna be doing this review on this Nike hammock. I've only just started to get into uh, hiking and camping and all that type of thing, and I wanted to get myself a hammock. Now, I also wanted to support an Australian company, so I looked around online to see if I could find who was producing hammocks here in Australia. There was Nike and a couple other brands. I decided on Nike because, uh, well, one, their communication was really good. I sent them some emails, or sorry, I spoke to them on Facebook, and their communication, their response back was really, really good. And then when I got on their website, they had a ripper discount going at the time. So I was actually able to buy this whole set 10% off. So, and I'll say that now, this is not a paid thing. I have organized a, um, what are they called? A discount code for you guys, for anyone that wants to uh, get one. But this particular whole unit here, I paid for it out of my pocket. Honest review, I've had it for a couple of weeks. And I just wanted to, when I looked for it, I couldn't find any video reviews on YouTube. So I thought, well, when I get it, I'll put one together. So as I said, Nike is an Australian company. They're, it's a bit interesting because what they do is they plant trees for every hammock that they sell. They plant four trees for every hammock they sell. And they're actually doing that in partnership with a company called Eden Projects in Madagascar. They also, their hammocks are made from 37 recycled plastic bottles. So the nylon is made from recycled plastic bottles, which is a great thing, you know, all the uh, recycling you can get is fantastic. And they're actually the first company in the world to make hammocks from recycled plastic. So congratulations to Nike. The hammock's actually three meters long. It's 1.8 meters wide. It's weighted, sorry, it's rated for weight of 225 kilos, which is like, 400 pounds or something like that and it weighs about 600 grams now as i was saying before it says it's weighted to 225 kilos i actually set this up wrong when i first got it at home we have a uh, a standalone hammock uh frame that we could hang it in and i actually hung it so it was almost straight parallel at the start and then i got in it and i was actually really surprised it didn't rip because i just thought that's how you set up hammocks and it wasn't until i uh, did some investigation did a little bit of research and found out that a ridge line makes a world of difference. Now this hammock doesn't actually come with a ridge line. I brought this ridge line off our Tasmanian company and I'll put a link to those guys down below. It cost me about 15 bucks because one of the big things that I learned about well, when I was doing my research in the hammocking is that you actually need to set the hammock up so that this distance here is about 83% of the actual whole length of the hammock. So it was really easy, I went online, measured the hammock, and literally just ordered the uh, the ridge line that would fit my hammock. And it makes organizing and hanging, and getting your hang right, well, hanging it right the first time, which is really good. Speaking of research, I found a book called The Ultimate Hang by a bloke named Derek. I'll put a link down below. You can get it off Amazon, on like the Amazon Kindle for about $13. It's a really, really good read. So um, yeah, click down below. Disclaimer, any of the links I put down below will probably be affiliate links. Obviously, if I can get a couple of dollars for putting these reviews together, that'd be fantastic. It means, well, I can buy some more gear, maybe do some more reviews, and actually get out there and do some camping. Whew. I literally just flicked off a big mosquito. I was thinking, sitting here at the moment, well, sorry, I was sitting here just about to figure out, all right, what am I going to video next as part of this review? And there was this giant mozzie right there. I'm actually just down near a river at the moment, and uh, yeah, so we might get a few bugs, which leads, what a beautiful segue, into the bug net. What I did when I purchased mine is, you can buy the hammock by themselves, but uh, Nike had a deal where they had the hammock, the bug net, the tarp, and the straps so it all came together and i picked it up when i got it for about 185 dollars and it's free delivery so i was like yep sign me up for that now when i looked around i was very keen to get on with a bug net because i figured i'm going to go camping i do not want bugs and stuff in with me especially at night and i thought this is a good design they've set theirs up so this is the ridge line i have in so when you get yours you won't have this if you get the tarp you get this big these strings up here and I'll put the tarp up later on but I put this up to help with the uh, with the fly net and you literally put it through the entire hammock so you put your whole hammock through all the way in oh, 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 there we go and then it's got these seal points here squeeze it up close that one up down the other end here exactly the same thing make sure that's all sealed up and then you've got a zipper actually it's a double zipper right here and here. The other thing I liked about all this gear is all the bags are attached. See, literally the fly net bundles up into that stuff sack. 
And this bag here is actually made from the same material that the hammock's made of. And oh, sorry, I didn't mention that before. So not only is it made from 37 recycled plastic bottles, the nylon itself is 70D nylon, so it's nice and strong. But yeah, double zip. Let's get in and test it out. Now, I've never done jumped in when I've had this on it. So, and I've got it up high because I haven't got the ideal tree spacing here. So let's pray that this does not go terribly, terribly wrong when I jump in. Here we go. Oh, big mozzie, big mozzie. Lots of big mozzies actually. And then close that up. Oh. Not too bad at all. Alright, so I don't know if you guys can actually see me in here, but the bug net is actually made from no seam bug mesh. It's 3.2 meters long and 1.45 meters wide and it weighs about 420 grams. Now I'm in here and uh, once I'm in, I'll move my feet out this side. Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, that mesh, that's not on me at all. That's nice. That's my ridge line. Ridge line's looking pretty good. Yep, not too bad at all. So yeah, nice. And there's still plenty of space underneath me here. So yeah, there's a nice amount of space in here. Yeah. All right, so I'm a fairly big guy. I am six foot three, so that's what, 188 centimeters. I'm 110 kilos, which I think is about 225 pounds. So I'm not exactly light. And I was a bit conscious of when I got this sucker to see whether or not I'd be able to sleep in it very well. I've tried once or twice at home because we've got obviously all the lockdowns and stuff going on at the moment. I haven't been able to get right out there and do some overnight camping in it. But I've done some stuff at home and I'm still trying to work that out, trying to get a sleeping mat in there. I'm thinking I'm going to have to invest in probably a underquilt. But uh, overall, I'm actually really pleased with it. The material is strong. As I said before, like it's a 70D, not, you know, I think it's, you know, the stop rip nylon or whatever it is but um, not that, that means anything to me but the fact that I had this thing taut when I uh, got in the first time I'm stunned it didn't rip. Now each end you've actually got what they call 12 KN carabiners so they're really easy to clip you don't have to tie any knots literally run the straps through around the tree hook them on both ends and then the carabiners I like that idea. Speaking of the straps the swoop the straps are actually three meters long and what they do they've got a big loop at the end and then they've got like that daisy chain sort of look or combination and they are triple stitched on there three meters long rated to 450 kilos and they weigh 130 grams so if you're into ultra light backpacking they might be a little bit heavy um, i'm actually considering an alternative because i just find that uh, and it might just be my lack of knowledge at the moment but i'm trying to find trees that are spaced properly so I can get it set up. I'm still sort of working out that whole system. So yeah, those are those 12KN carabiners I was telling you about. As you can see right at the end here, even the stitching, like this is all the stitching at the end of it. It's triple stitched in here. This is the ridge line. When you buy these ridge lines, it's literally just a little bit of cable. And I found the way to do it is you just have to hook it over the end, which can be a bit tricky. Obviously it's a little bit too big to go through that section. Oh, it might. Oh, are you kidding me? It fit this time. <laughs> the first time I tried it, it wouldn't fit. Anyway, you can hook it sort of over there and through there and weave it through. And that's all you literally do is you hook it around and it's on the end. That's it. As I mentioned earlier, these are the bags that they uh, come with it attached. And it is really good. It's got a bit of fluff on there from my kids. But uh, yeah, see, mentions on here, four trees, 37 recycled bottles. And it is good material i like it because it's attached on here and i've taken this thing in and out a couple of times and really really easy to pack away and to get out when you need it now here's a nice close-up of these straps as you can see i mean there's triple stitch through there look at these things the stitching on these things are monstrous and i have in my inexperience not set these up multiple times correctly and i've probably put so much extra stress and strain on these things it is unbelievable. Um, as I said, I'm not exactly a light chap, but I have definitely put these things through their paces. And I like these loop. The, I like the loop idea like this, was a daisy chain, because it makes it really easy to set up. Some people say, "Oh, well, you, you can't be quite as accurate with your, uh, you know, setting it up." But I don't know. I think that. I mean, it's either going to be there. I suppose that is a couple of inches apart, you know, between that spot here and this spot down the bottom here. But I will tell you what, 
it is quick and easy which is what i like see i was not kidding about those uh mosquitoes big suckers yeah get away you little buggers all right so here's the end of the bug net you've got your carabiner attached to your hammock you pull the whole hammock through you get to the end here and then what you're doing is you just pull this drawstring they've got a nice drawstring here pull it up nice and tight keep all those little creepy crawlies or as you guys just saw those giant mosquitoes out and that is yeah nothing's climbing into there look at that that is nice and tight great and as you look at this this mesh i mean that's what they call it no see mesh there is i mean that's two bits against each other let's see if we can get it out like this oh yeah here we go so that's what it looks like i mean you could almost use it as a shade as well like if you didn't want to put your tarp up and it was a little bit sunny you could almost just put this bug net on and use it as a shade the top of the bug net has these uh, little clips here that you can clip on to either your ridge line or you can put on to a, a ridge line for your tarp or something like that but uh, nice little clips how many are on there let's have a quick look one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven yep that's right so seven of those little hooks across the top keeps the bug net out of your face and uh, keeps the creeping crawlies out of being in the hammock with you so this is what it looks like when you've got the actual tarp set up now this tarp is big it is three and a half meters wide or long by three and a half meters wide it's got six uh, cables and stuff with all the uh, cable ties it comes with uh, pegs to put it in it is 890 grams in weight so it's got a little bit of weight to it and when you feel the weight of all the other bits like the hammock and the bug tarp and all that type of stuff you do feel the weight of the uh, of the tarp now the tarp itself let's see if I can get this right is made from 3,000 millimeter waterproof no nah, I'm gonna have to read it here we go 3,000 millimeter PU coated waterproof ripstop polyester with non-toxic dual silicon because I wasn't gonna be able to remember that off the top of my head <laughs> but anyway it's big and you can actually see like the top I'll show you up guys up close here you can actually see the the rip not stop stuff in the material it's got lots of eye holes it's actually got the eye holes and also these um, little other cables here. Oh, Mozzie, got him. Uh, it's got clips or holes for like guidelines up here, across the top, and also on either side halfway up. And that's obviously mirrored on the other side. Got some beautiful bit of logoing, bit of branding up the top there, and you got branding on the other side too if you're into that kind of thing. But let's go under and have a look. All right, here we are under here. We've got, uh, I actually had to move some of the guidelines around because I had it set up a bit dodgy before. So you really do need to have a guideline for your um, for your bug net, but yes, nice in here. Got it all set up. Let's jump in the hammock. All right, as you can see, it actually on the camera it shows a bit more light coming through than there is. It's quite dim in here. I can already start to feel the heat coming from uh, having the tarp over the top. I would probably suggest that unless it was actually raining, you'd have the tarp, or you'd have the tarp up much higher. Because as you guys can see, I've got this down, oh, uh, probably, well, I would say it's almost level with the hammock. But on this side, now I've got the back down a touch more. So I'm going to get fairly limited airflow through here. But, oh, get in here, oh, stretch across. I mean, it is big. It's hard to actually show you how big this thing is on the camera without, oh, I don't want to get my boots on it, but like, okay. Normally I wouldn't have my boots in here, but like I am sprawled out in this sucker. There is no lack of space in this thing. Oh, it is getting a bit warm though. I definitely don't want to get out of there. Is that a mozzie? Oh yeah, little mozzies. Outside, good. Oh. oh, I'm supposed to be working doing this review, but I think I just might lay here for a minute and relax. <laughs> Alright guys, well that's basically my review of the Nike hammock. As I said before, it's a really good brand. I like the fact that they are planting trees for every hammock sold. As I mentioned before, they're planting four trees, partnering with a company called Eden Projects. And I jumped on their website and they've actually got a, uh, it shows like a profile page for Nike hammocks. And they've already planted 22 and a half 
thousand trees. So I think they're doing a really, really good job. The other thing that I wanted to mention to you guys was, okay, so I mentioned earlier, we got free shipping. So I've got free shipping. They do free shipping. Uh, I don't know if it's worldwide, but it's definitely within Australia. Free shipping here in Australia. They have a money back guarantee. If you don't like the product, send it back, which I think was the other big reason that I purchased it. They also have organized a discount code for us. Now, when I approached these guys and said, hey, do you guys mind if I do a review for your hammock? And is there any chance you can hook us up with a discount code for any of my viewers or for anyone that watches the review? And hammy, hammy, Nike were very good. And they said, yeah, we can organize something. They organized it. So here it is. If you go to their website and when you purchase it, get to the shopping cart and put in as your discount code or your coupon code, Ben10, as in B-E-E, B-E-E, -E, far out, B-E-N 10, as in the numbers, one zero, I'll show it down below, that will get you a 10% discount, okay? So that doesn't override any of the other discounts, that will just give you a 10% discount on whatever the cart price is. Now, as much as I hate to say it, Nike do really, really good uh, promotions. So as much as I want you all to use my code, and also they will give me a little bit of a kickback. They give me a kickback for anyone that uh, uses that code. So as much as I want you all to use that code, go to the website, have a bit of a look around. Sometimes they have even better discount codes on their websites. And obviously if you find a better discount, if you can get like a 20 or a 30% discount off, because I know they did a 30% discount at one stage. Unfortunately, it was after I uh, got mine, but that's fine. Use that obviously, get yourselves a great discount because this is really, really good gear and I'm pleased with it so far. This is only my first review, I am going to do more. Once all the restrictions lift and we can get out and start going hiking and camping again, I intend to put this baby through its paces. And when I do, uh, check out either one of my camping videos which will have it in there or I may actually do a whole nother review or I'll probably incorporate it, I'll just tag it or something like that and you guys will be able to, I'll be able to give you more of an impression of once I've used it out on the trail. So. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed that review. If there's anything that you want to know about it, just comment it down below, and I'll be sure to answer those comments. Obviously, as everyone says, if you could subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, I don't care any about that. If you could subscribe, that'd be great. Give it a thumbs up, happy days. Obviously, as I said, there's might be a couple of affiliate links down the bottom for the Amazon book for the, uh, what is it called? The Ultimate Hang by Derek, uh, what's his name? And also a link, but that's just a link through for the Ridge Line. From that Tasmanian company that I got mine through. It was about 15 bucks in shipping. And then obviously use the 10 Ben 10 discount code if uh, you decide to buy one. So yeah, happy days. Hope you guys have a great one.